Nitro is the glory. Welcome to the No Name RC Podcast with your host tonight, Keenan White, aka Lefty the Great. And if you are unlucky, the Finnish village idiot, JQ. This is the RC Podcast with no name, but plenty of content. So sit back, relax and get ready for some serious bench racing. Yes, what's up? Yes, indeed. Nitro is the glory. E buggy pays the bills. It's Christmas time. It's the last show of the year, and we are excited to be here. Uh, what is up, Max? What is up, everybody? Uh, this is episode number 159 of the No Name RC podcast, and it is the Christmas show. And we got a lot of stuff to give away to you guys today because Santa Lefty is here with his friendly elf. Max, we don't know where yeah, the other elf yeah, is, the by the way. He was supposed to be here, but uh, at the last minute, he kind of backed out. So maybe he'll grace us with his presence at some point uh, today. Uh, we're just doing a levels check, everybody. Are we cool with our audio levels? Um, just checking levels, levels, levels. Can everybody hear us? Welcome, everybody, yeah. to the No Name RC podcast. Uh, let us know if our levels are a little bit up or down. Mike, Max, say something, please. Yeah, I mean, uh, I hope I hope uh, the other elf joins us. But you definitely should have grown a beard. I just realized that you well, you you had a you had a, a longer beard for a while. So well, I was getting too too I unkempt, think. and I just had to you know I had to get back to looking clean. Yeah. And you know I was starting to actually look like Santa Claus too much. So you know I I, I, don't, I don't know. This is my 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 accurate beard length. I think so. That's it. Yeah. That's where it's gonna stay. But um. Hey, before we go on any further, everybody, please share this. We want to get as many people in here as we can. This is live on YouTube and live on Facebook. We're going to give away some cool prizes. We're going to talk about that in a minute and uh, whatnot. But before we do that, we have to pay some bills. And we have to say thank you to, first of all, thank you to all of the NNRC squad around the world. We couldn't have done this without you guys. Honestly, it's been another great year, three years, three and years and a bit of doing this. We have some great things planned for everybody in 2022. We're actually going to be even more busy next year. So that's great. Uh, so we'll be bringing you as much content as we can. Shout out to the patrons of the podcast. We can't do it without you guys. We're having a special Patreon uh, patron giveaway uh, next week with some other swag for you guys. Some people have been supporters for, since the inception. Thank you for your support. We greatly appreciate it. That helps uh, ease up things for me, helps keep things paid, keep things going. If you wish to be a Patreon, you can. The link is in the written description of this podcast. So thank you to all of them. And shout out to the awesome sponsors of this podcast. We can't do it without them either. They are Mayako, TNR Fuels, High Tech RC, Techno RC, SCRC, Lugs Racing Tires, Beach RC, Invisible Speed, JQSM, Racecraft USA, Donathan, Donathan, Donathan RC Charge Leads, Papa Willie's Traction Tonic, House of RC, RCGP, uh, JQ Threads. I'm probably missed somebody here. Let me check. No, I think I got everybody in there. High Tech RC, I forgot. I, I think I said them already. And special thanks to Clinic RC, Tony Lunen of Clinic RC for his, um, he donated some of his cool new air filters for us to give away today. So shout out to him. And we're going to be working a lot more with Tony in the new year. So I'm looking forward to that as well. And hey, um, <laughs> I'm just reading some of the comments. It's Christmas time. We're happy to be here. But before we go on any further, uh, I just want to uh, take some time to, uh, yeah, Charlie Mack went to Caleb Hamby's funeral today. Such a sad story. But I wanted to take some time out right now at this time of year to remember all of our RC family that we lost this last year. Uh, Caleb probably being the most recent one. And uh, this podcast is dedicated to you you guys and your family. Uh, to all your friends, may you live on. And hopefully we see each other another, another time and we get to race some RC cars one day in the future. I don't know how that's going to work, but there's always hope. So shout out to everybody that's gone this year. And yeah, it's, it's going to... You know, it's been a sad year for RC. We've lost a lot of people. 
So with that said, we're going to move on a little bit further and we're going to do some celebration of Christmas. We got a lot of people in here. We got people from Portugal. What's up, Flavio? We got people from the Pacific Northwest. What's up, Brady? What's up, dude? How you doing? We got Jay Zaire, Joe Zaire, Tony Newland. Got lots of people in here. Keep sharing. Let's share this. Let's share this. Let's get up to 100 people. I know that we're a little bit early, but we wanted to get the Europeans in here as well. So that's why we went. So what's up, Max? You just woke up. You've been busy. <laughs> yeah, I've been busy taking a nap. But yeah, yeah, I've been actually, I've been actually doing some school stuff all week, and then like all like the Mayako release and uh, like everything uh, has been happening this week. So yeah, it's been a busy week for sure. Yeah, yeah, you've been busy. You're all excited. You're back. You're back with your with your your Sith Lord Joseph, and uh, <laughs> it's good to have you back. And uh, I'm excited for 2022. It's been a big, big week in 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 RC. Silly season has kicked off. I, Mayako started that on Monday. We're gonna talk a little bit more about silly season in a bit, uh, but it's been it's been hectic. We got a few moves we want to talk about and whatnot. But before I go on any further, I just want to say give you guys an idea of some of the stuff that we're giving away and how we're gonna do it today. So how we're gonna do it is we're gonna have some quiz questions. We're gonna put we're gonna get as many people as we can. And we're going to put you in a spin the wheel. We got our producer for today. He's in the back, William Wallace. Thank you to William Day, uh, Rowan the Barbarian's good friend. He's helping us out in the background. We greatly appreciate him. He's going to take your name down, and then we're going to spin off and um, do some giveaways. We we do have some products we're going to give away like uh, as quiz questions, but uh, we, we got some big things to give away and spin the wheel. We have some fuel from TNR Fuels. Thank you to TNR Fuels. We have some traction tonic from Papa Willie's Traction Tonic lugs tires has been so gracious to give us four sets of tires including some truggy tires complete sets beach rc we have uh 120 i think 150 dollars 125 dollars worth of uh gift certificates to give away clinic rc has donated two air filters for us new of his new air filters we also have one for our patrons as well alexander hagberg has donated a body with a video which i thought was really cool uh, uh touring car body did he use from the worlds uh viking the viking david ronafalk he was supposed to give me a video but he's probably busy uh he's uh, he said he's gonna send me something autographed probably a body a wing or tires and you guys get that house of rc has donated a year membership to their to their community join house of rc the greatest the the fastest growing uh, rc community that has a value of 60 bucks because it's five dollars a month uh and we have we, i think House of RC has some big updates coming soon. Also, what else do we have here? We have, um, where's all the prizes, Max? Oh, Techno RC has donated a uh, $100 gift certificate to us as well. Donathan RC has given us one, uh, two personal charge leads, but one is going to our, our uh, patrons. And we have, uh, actually we have two big prizes coming in. We have the Invisible Speed online course, which will be like the main, main prize. We'll be giving one of those away today. And High Tech, who has uh, been a very gracious sponsor of the podcast. And it looks like uh, we'll be working a lot closer with High Tech in the new year, have donated a RDX2 Pro Charger and a 938 Servo. And I, before we go on any further, I'd like to introduce uh, my good friend who I've gotten to know over the last four years him and his son we've become really good friends and i'm so happy for him because he's been running these products for since i met him and it's a lot longer and now he I, you know what i forgot his official role already so he's gonna have to come in and um this is the guy who's gonna be uh helping well i'll be working with him as well we're gonna help try and bring high tech uh back to to racing in full force but i'd like to introduce my good friend and uh i know i'm waiting to bring him on her for a minute my good friend he never smiles when he does a podium picture, but I'd like to introduce Mr. Mike Walker. What's up, Mike? How are you? How you doing, Lefty the Great and Max? Merry Christmas to the NNRC squad and our uh, RC enthusiasts around the world. How you doing, man? You you got your Santa Claus hat on. Uh, you know, we're both older, so you're Santa Mike. Thank you for coming on, man. I'm super pumped for you. Uh, tell us your official role at High Tech now, please. Um, I am the factory support representative 
uh, one of a few factory support representatives with high tech. Um, and we are very happy to work with the No Name RC podcast going forward. Um, as a lot of people know, that's the best source of news in the RC industry and Thank steadily you. growing. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. It's going to be exciting. I know uh, it's going to be good to see you go into some more races next year. We're going to see you out in California as well, which is great because I've been telling you to come out there for years. <laughs> so I'm super happy about that. Uh, tell us a little bit about high tech real quick. We had Mike Mayberry on them. You've been using their products for over 20 years. Uh, mm -hmm. Give us a little bit of information on the servo and the and the charger that you will be uh, that high tech will be giving away today. Well, uh, first off, a few of the things I'd like to say first is, is yes, I've been using their products for over 20 years. I was a enthusiast and a consumer long before um, I had any type of uh, you know ties or or anything with high tech. Um, and as most of you know, high tech is a very old company. Uh, high tech also has got a lot of other things that they're involved in, like government contracts and. Um, they, they just have very deep ties in, into the electronics, um, you know, divisions of, of our part of our hobby. Um, so that being said, uh, there's not many people that you could talk to around the track that hasn't heard of high tech or at some point in time has run a high tech product. And most of the times I've asked these people, well, why don't you run high tech anymore? And nobody really knows. So we're going to change all that with the help of the No Name Podcast. <clears throat> we have a lot of new, great, and exciting things that we're looking to do going forward. Um, we want to change the way per people perceive uh, our product. Um, we, those of us who've been with high tech for a long time, we understand the reliability and the quality that's in the product. Um, I would also recommend anyone to go back and watch the episode with Mike Mayberry on it. It was very informative. Mike's been involved with the hobby for a very long time. So what we are doing together is trying to bring back what we all know was a great product for many years, the go-to product for many people for many years. We're going to reinvent us. We're going to bring us back to the top like we should be. Awesome. Awesome. I'm excited. I got some of the servers coming for my Mayako buggy, which I finally got. And I have some for Project Yellow back there, which, you know, I can't reveal because my wife might be watching this. <laughs> um, so I'm excited about that. I've been using their charger now for some time and I've been geeking out on it. I remember when I was like, oh, look at this. I could just monitor it off my phone. So I think a lot of people are missing out on this charger just with the Bluetooth dongle, the ability to monitor things and, and control it through your phone. Uh, tell us a little bit about that, please. So, yeah, the, the charger is, it's got a lot of features packed in a very small package, if you will. And with the addition of the Bluetooth dongle for the RDX Pro 2, you can really fine tune what you're trying to do and monitor what's going on with your battery program. Uh, there's lots of neat features in the uh, RDX, the, you know, like being able to use it as a power supply situation for something else you might have on your pit bench, um, as, as well as, like I said, the, the ability to go Bluetooth and really fine tune what you're doing with the cells and with the endpoints and milliamp of each one of your batteries that you're, you're charging. It's, it's just really a great charger, and it's very small and compact for those that are traveling. Mm -hmm. um, I will you agree don't, to that. You don't have a great big uh, charger that you're trying to pack away, and and those that are are flying around the country or around the world, um, the, the size is, is unbeatable for uh, when, when you're trying to do any type of traveling. Uh, real quick, Joe Zaire, aka Savage Joe, does it charge at 40 amps? I can't remember. I think it goes up to 25. Yeah, uh, and yeah. I apologize. I don't remember the exact number because. At, in the eight scale side of things is, is to where we, we use it personally. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't charge at 40 amps on a 4S. Um, I'm perfectly happy charging it anywhere from 10 to 15 amps. Yeah. Um, but I believe it does do uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of a 20 amp charge. Yeah, I think it does. <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's really cool. I'm enjoying it. it. It definitely is working. It's great to know when my batteries are done. And then I can see a whole... Uh, you can just yeah, got a whole screenshot of every every cell, everything like that. 
and the time, the amount of, yeah, it's just, it's just a great little app and a great charger. But what surprised me more was the actual service. I remember when you told me this, I didn't believe you at first, but now that I've heard it so many times, uh, you, uh, the servers have regenerative pow like abilities, which I think is amazing. So yes, a lot of people kind of look at you cross-eyed when you say that because they don't understand the amount of technology that high tech has in their servos. Um, it, it, it's not a rebranded or just another makeup of something else that's on the market. High tech has exclusively designed circuitry that is, in my opinion, far above what um, other servo manufacturers have on the market. Um, to give you an example, on doing a uh, battery voltage test <clears throat> at AMS uh, with charging up the batteries from the time we got there to right before the mains, which was a couple of days on a receiver pack, uh, we only used a, a few milliamps in total over a several days of driving a nitro car. Mm -hmm. So the regenerative braking feature within that servo is, is second to none. It, it's a peace of mind. You don't have to worry about being in a long servo having your battery go dead. <clears throat> it's just a great feature. And it's, it is something that is not found in other servos that are on the market. I would agree. And yeah, it is ACDC BJ. You know what we're mm -hmm. entering BJ. The BJ is the first person that we are entering in the competition because he needs a new charger. So you know what, William Wallace put down <laughs> BJ's name, please. And, um, he is going on the spin the wheel. Cause BJ is like the super, like a super RC fan, <laughs> you know? So he gets the first one. He, he needs a new charger. Let's hopefully he can win that. Congrats. You are entered into the draw BJ. You are entered. Uh, so, I'm um, yeah, sorry. Go ahead, Mike. Something I wanted to, uh, make sure that I, I let the viewers know, um, about high tech that I was actually astonished that a lot of people didn't realize when you purchase a servo from high tech, you are covered for two years. Mm -hmm. So we stand behind our products and we are so confident in our products that when you invest in us, we invest in you. So if you have a problem, which I doubt you will, but we all know electronics do fail, mm -hmm. that for two years from the date of purchase, you are covered. You do not have to buy another servo. You simply send that servo back into us at high tech and we will replace, repair, fix, whatever needs to be done to make sure that your, um, th that your experience with high tech is, is far above reproach. So awesome. that is something that is across the board with high tech. Any person that's buying any of our servos, you have a two year warranty on the complete package. Awesome, awesome. Awesome, uh, we, had, did, we did have a question, Pat uh, P. Finn, I know who this is, he wants to know what the what is the price compared to other high-end servers? If you do some research, you'll find out that as a retail price, high tech falls right in line with any of the other major um, players, if you will, within our uh, racing community. Uh, but uh -oh, we lost Mike's audio. Yeah, we lost Mike's Mike, audio. we lost your audio, buddy. We lost him completely. Hello. I think I don't yeah, think he I can hear know. us either. I, I think he. Yeah, I don't think he hears us. Can you guys hear us in the in the background there, Mike? You you muted your mic. Hello. Right. I yeah. think you're back yeah. now. Yeah, yeah. There yeah. we go. Didn't touch okay. anything. <laughs> we had some technical yeah, difficulties. I, yeah, so yeah, I might have just uh, reloaded or something. If it went into time. Have you got Joseph yeah. running the board behind the scenes somewhere? No, he's out of here. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right, so Mike, how can how can people get a hold of you to uh, get in touch with you and get get some high tech servers in their cars and and get some uh, uh, get some running? Uh, anyone can look me up on Facebook um, by my name. Everybody knows how to get around Facebook. Um, mm -hmm. Email address is Michael M I C H. E A L dot Walker three six at yahoo.com. Mm -hmm. You can reach out to me there, Facebook Messenger. By all means, visit the high tech website. Um, I can be contacted through the high tech website as well. Um, yeah, more than happy to, to, to help if you have any questions. 
Um, if you're interested in diving a little deeper into high tech, um, we're here to help you, uh, you know, enjoy your hobby. Awesome. Awesome. I look forward to working with them. Uh, you know, I, I know they're serious about uh, getting back into racing, which is great. And I cannot wait for that, man. Um, thank you for all the support. I know you was a big part in getting them on board. I appreciate it. Uh, I'm looking forward to getting my servers. I love my, I love my charger and I cannot, um, Hey, you know what? We're going to give away a charger and a, and a radio. I mean, on a servo today. And I appreciate that from high tech and thank you, man. And I look forward to seeing you at the races next year. Same here. We look right. forward to working with you in the future. Sweet, Mike. Thank you for your time. And well, we'll have you, obviously, I think you're going to be on this podcast more in, in 2022. We're going to be working a little bit more together. So thank you, man. And we're going to go on and we're going to give away some prizes. You have a good one. And oh, hey, you can enter too. You can win some prizes too, <laughs> Mike. So let's go. Thank you, dude. I'll talk you're to you later welcome. on. Merry Christmas to everyone. Yes, you as well. Yeah, you too, man. Bye-bye. All right, Max. So here we are. What's up, everybody? We got one person in the in the in the draw already so you know what let's let's start before we get into any um any questions or any nitro or i mean sorry nitro talk any type of um oh uh, what's the word i'm looking for max any type of silly season talk let's give away something let's give away something and the first thing we're going to give away is i think we're going to give away a 25 dollar gift certificate from beach rc so yeah we're gonna have to give two because the question we have is for two right is it for two no it's just yeah. for one we'll give one away for no, no. but i okay whatever i think hold on so we have yeah, oh okay so you have the two okay. drivers okay edit it so who wants to win a 25 dollar beach rc gift certificate you can put this on top of any purchase that you're going to make from beach rc and the winner of this will get entered into the spin the wheel draw so first the first question will be with what two drivers raced for the beach rc rcgp team in manila, manila in 2019 were they no no don't don't say them i know i was about to say the answers yeah i was about to say the answers so yeah. whoever can give us the two drivers that drove for Two drivers that drove for Beach RC RCGP team in Manila, uh, you will win this. Oh no, almost Trent. He said, he said Batier and Barufalo. No, it's close. No, nope. close. Thing is, there, close. There were three drivers. Uh, there were three drivers who were in that team, so this should be an easy one for you guys. Yeah, there were three drivers. Close. Batty, we say Battier was one, so he got that one. Yeah. So we give give it away. Give that one away. Very close. Nope, not yeah. Lutz and Battier. Jackson Johnson. Nope. They were not American. Um, I'm gonna give you that. They were not American drivers. And one yeah. one was yeah, a Eduardo Rossi got it. Robert he did Batty it? and Nachushihara. Yes. And All and right, Edward Springer. Rossi. You got you won a $25 gift certificate from Beach RC. Congratulations. It was Robert yeah. Badier, Atushihara, and Adam St and Aaron Stringer. He got all three. So congratulations. Yeah. Very well. Very good. Very good. Very good. Good. If you were to ask the USA one, everybody would have got that. So they got that right. Yeah. Um, very good. So he gets entered into the spin the wheel. Uh, William Wallace, don't forget to put that in for him, please. And uh, no problem, man. Congratulations, Edward Rossi. All right. So silly season, silly season has heated up. I guess Mayako kicked it off on Monday and I think they won it unless Mayfield goes somewhere or something like that in the oh, Ongaro moves from, from associated. So congratulations to Mayako once again for winning. Silly. I, yeah, we got to say they won silly season, Max. We got to say it. I mean, I think, I, I think it's like, I don't think there's any other way to say it really. Yeah. Mayako with the with the David Ronafalk announcement, it's been a big week in RC. And that just once that opened, like it's like the floodgates opened and like everybody started making the silly season announcements. Uh we saw officially that Jackson Brunson left H oh, sorry, left Associated. Now the rumor was that he's going to HB, but I've also heard the rumor that he might be going to TLR now. And then him joining um Trinity to do 10 scale stuff kind of might point to the fact that he might be going to TLR. 
He says it's not over yet. We can't call it. Well, unless Jeff Keaton, unless Mayfield, Dakota fan, or Angaro switch teams, I don't yeah, think. I think. But you know what? Jeff Keaton don't like the Viking anyway. He's kind of like you. He 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 says he, he, he. I'm not. No, you 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 read me wrong. I'm not against the Viking. I'm just telling facts. Like facts are, like Angaro's being having the upper hand. Maybe now, yes. like this is the change he needed. So maybe now. I would like, agree there. I would agree uh, there. With an improvement in the machinery, he could uh, probably get something done. So, yeah, <laughs> he says, my, my daughter, Michaela's, you know, Jeff Keaton's got to say something. He's all corporate Keaton now. He's TLR to the burn. So, yeah. um, you know how Keaton goes. We need to get him back on her. But with that said, uh, I. I kind of saw Brunson. I kind of still see Brunson going to HB. If he doesn't, if he doesn't go to HB and he goes to TLR, that leaves up that leaves room at HB for another top signing American. And I'm wondering who would go there. So if the if that's true and he is going TLR, then who takes his position? Who takes that side position at HB? But I I'm pretty sure that it's HB that he's going to HB. So we shall see. We shall see. I think it's a good move for Brunson. He kind of gets away from being in uh, AE shadow, maybe being in Rivkin shadow, even though the boys. And he gets to, you know, go. And it's a good car. Like, the car is good and where he races. And I think he'll be successful with it. I think the uh, also we had Austin Woodyard and Spencer Klein to WRC. Uh, just a real quick, Austin Woodyard was probably one of those fast, up-and-coming young racers. I remember meeting him at... DNC, him and his dad. He was probably a little younger than you. No, he was like 14, 13, 14. And I know he's been race, not been racing as much. And look, look, even Keaton says he's going to TLR. Yeah, so that leaves space at HB. That's going to be interesting. That's going to be interesting. Uh, it's good to see Austin Woodyard back. And then Spencer Klein is a Midwest, Oklahoma, Texas, Southeast racer, I want to say, who's got some potential. And um, I think there's a two very good regional pickups for wrc and those and if these guys they will travel so i think for me wrc those two moves are really great like uh two up and coming young racers and i think that's one of the better more quiet regional moves in in silly season this week this week uh seth van dalen was spotted running an ultimate at the hobbyplex uh, I was talking to Brent. He says he has three big announcements for Ultimate this coming up, or a bunch of announcements. So it sounds like Ultimate is definitely out there. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? They're out there trying to sign some big names and stuff like that. So that's good to see with Tyler Jones leaving them. And also Tyler Jones was uh, seen running a different engine, and we don't know what that is either. So kind of had that skewed up and we couldn't see but i think the biggest move of all has to be the skidmores leaving mugen that shocked me for sure because they yeah, done so I well mean, on the mugen car i think like in europe one of the biggest moves well probably the biggest moves apart from bronifolk has been skidmore so far yeah i would agree with that well okay par Barufolo, but it was a while ago mm -hmm. Uh, the, the rumor is that they're going to HB and in case people don't know who the Skidmores are, the, the Johnny is the UK national champion for this year. They are good. I mean, I think, um, oh, wow. Danny just announced S works. Wow. I missed that. Well, we're breaking news. We're getting news while it's going on. I, I mean, there's no surprise there. I knew, I kind of thought he was going there. Now, does this mean that yeah. Danny's going to race more full time? Are they going to pay him like a full time salary to race? So that'd be interesting to see. Um, so we got to move there. We got to move there. Uh, all right. So back to Skidmore. To go too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I still think that uh, the that the, the Skidmore move is, is big. Uh, it is. Sure. HB has some budget now with Adrian and David Ronafalk out. So I'm, I'm assuming that they are leaving Yugen to get some sort of compensation from HB. I, I don't see why they can't be. I don't see why Johnny heard, Skidmore like, can be the, the number one HB guy in, in Europe. Um, yeah, yeah, but I, I heard a lot in, from the UK scene. I like a lot of people said X-Ray, mm -hmm. which is, I mean, could be, uh, but they would have to run uh, FX, I think, 
uh, most oh. likely. So that would be good. The say. replace re- replace Barufalo, I think. I think that's a good move too, as well. Is X Ray uh, big in know. England? Yeah, X Ray is X Ray is decent in England, I believe. Not like big, big, but it's 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 there. Uh, obviously, like it's kind of weird because HP and X Ray are kind of similar in Europe, whereas hmm. they are big teams in terms of the brand, but in terms of like team drivers, they are quite small. Both really, yeah. So I didn't have a lot of like top guys uh, running either, especially now that David left and Hampus uh, Hampus Barry probably these Swedish guys most likely won't be continue with HP. Yeah, they kind of. I, I have a feeling they'll be following uh, yeah. the the Viking. Uh, yeah, interesting move. Uh, I think this. I know we're gonna touch on this a lot because this is a big move in Europe, and I think this. I think that Johnny Skidmore, I don't know how good the, the other brother is, but I think definitely Johnny is is good enough to be to to fight against these guys on a on a I mean, European didn't level. William like finish in top five in the series. Yeah, too, so like, like yeah, he's no he's slouch good, either. But you know, yeah. they, these guys definitely they were good at Montpellier. Uh, I, I it's gonna be good to see what they can do in Europe in in the coming twenty twenty two. And I, I I like them. I like them, even though their dad sometimes we don't agree one hundred percent. I like their tenacity, and uh, it's good to see somebody shaking it up in the UK and not just being the same names that it has been. So yeah, very definitely good, this very year, good. like the UK nationals has had some good rivalries and. I mean, not controversy, but the sort of tensity going on there uh, with Skidmos uh, being like winning this year a lot. So, yeah, I, I definitely like it. I definitely like the the tensity in there. I think we. Should, I I know Tony Noonan gave us some some air filters, but I'm wondering if with that an announcement, he wins a, a entry into the spin the wheel, but we just can't know. I don't know. Should we enter Kony into that? Or no, we can't allow uh people that are sponsoring the pod to do that. But he was the one who broke the Danny news. Danny to S Works. Interesting. Interesting news. So hmm. Where does Joe Bornhorse go? Is Joe Bornhorse going to S Works? Does S Works have enough money to pay Joe Bornhorse? Or are we gonna see Bornhorse go to HB now? I wish I wish he goes to HB. I think that I that's think the, the best move. bet for him is to go to HB. To be honest, yeah. interesting, interesting because it looks like, like I said, with Brunson, kind of looking like he's going to TLR. Yeah, I could see that Joe to HB. That would be a good move, I think. Um, yeah, for Joe. Now we just need lots to go to X Ray, and uh, everything is perfect. Yeah, or maybe he stays with WRC. Who knows? We but okay. Maybe. So with I don't, with I don't Klein, think this year, I don't think this year has been sort of good for him. It doesn't like, it doesn't feel like he's having fun, and he's not like he missed a lot of races or that. So but yeah, I think that would be better. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, that's a lot. What the hell is that? That's somebody's cub out there starting. All right, so let's let's do a let's do a giveaway. Let's give away something here, Max. What are we gonna give away today? Let's give away a quarter fuel from TNR Fuels. What do you think? Yeah. Which All right. So are we gonna go with? we're gonna use one of these questions, and and I I know nobody's gonna get this, so we're gonna have to give like A, B, C. What is the current mandate on nitro content in the in Europe next year? Is it a 16 percent b 25 percent c 12 percent repeat we'll repeat yeah. that you if you if you don't know this you clearly haven't watched my um watch my nope it's not 25 dead. nope someone hold on hold it. on hold on who got c nope b one brian yeah. rc rc george got it already 12 percent. did he get it already yeah he was the first one See, this is the problem. Oh, yeah. Yeah. RC Jars, you got it. Enter RC Jars into the wheel. He got it. And he wins a, a quart of TNR fuels. Uh, also, check out his YouTube channel. He does some great stuff at races and he films some great races. So check him out. Give him a like and a uh, and a and a and a notification. Congratulations, RC Jars. It is 12 percent. And Max, uh, that's going to be a challenge for all Europeans. I wonder how it's going to work for the world. Yeah, and uh, uh, that's this is like the biggest issue because like there's like no like no one knows how how it will work 
because all the licenses are like uh, to every country. So fin Finnish government has their own license, then the Swedish one has its own, even though it's all inside the EU. And uh, yeah, so and also uh, I want to clarify that if someone thought it was 16, yeah, that's the EU mandate. Mm -hmm. that's for uh, uh that's for the mass not volume the volume is actually 12 percent, which is how we measure uh, the nitro content in rc i thought it was 16 too don't worry everybody i thought it was 16 yeah. frs too yeah. but it, it is um definitely 12. all right so what else what else what should we give away who else is here i did some testing with zero percent it actually worked good really Wow, yeah, there's, there's one. Uh, Maxima actually had uh, ethanol-based fuel. Yeah, uh, already in 2012, something like that, and uh, that that was uh, that was working really well for them. Sweet. Yeah. Sweet. All right. Um. All right. We have actually a video too because it's pretty cool. Alexander Hagberg sent a. You know, he's he's been on the podcast. He's actually a fan of the podcast. I was really shocked when I found that out, and he actually. Uh, was kind enough to to donate a a body that he used in the worlds in South Africa. So we're gonna watch this. He also did a video for us, and some lucky person is gonna win this in spin the wheel. So we just want to say thank you to Alex for his time for his contribution, and he's always very cool to talk about RC. And uh, he expanded our, our brains and our minds in touring cars. So here's a video from uh, Alex Hagberg presenting his body that we're going to give away as well today. What's up, guys? It's Alexander Hagberg here for Team X-Ray. And I just want to say Merry Christmas and um, special thanks to my favorite RC podcast, the No Name RC podcast. Special thanks to Keenan for uh, having me on. And um, I want to give you my contribution to the um, to the Christmas show this year and it's the body shell that I have in front of me it's one of my race body shells actually this is one of the body shells that I used at the IFMAR World Championships 2018 in South Africa so it's a body shell that's been run on a track in an actual race and um, I'm happy to donate this body shell to whoever will be the lucky winner and once again Merry Christmas guys and take care Enjoy the holidays. See you soon. Awesome. I think that's so cool that a two-time world champion listens to the podcast. And not even on, like, he's not into off-road, but he just likes it. And I think that's so awesome. Thank you for everybody, for him, for tuning in. And you know what, Colin Branch, just because I, and, and BJ, we didn't enter you before. So you know what, we got to enter BJ and Colin into that as well so they can try to win that uh that body so enter bj williams and colin branch they get entered into that and see if they can win it um awesome body it was actually used while he's racing and is on an autograph it and he's going to ship it wherever whoever wins it they'll get it shipped out to him all right let's uh let's give away something let's let's give away something let's have a little question here and what i want to i want to talk about this real quick so clinic rc was gracious enough to give us some of his new air filters that he has on the on the market and i just wanted to re i just want i know we, we we talked about this on the internet this past week it, it's caused some stir and actually i should be able to bring it up hold on let me share my let me share my screen here and uh we'll bring it up uh it is the hold on. Okay. All right. So we have the Clinic RC dry air filter, one eight scale nitro buggy, truggy, and pre filter. So I know this got a lot of a lot of negativity and but it also put some positivity about it. And I've talked to Tony. He's been in the RC world. Uh, doing business for over 25 years. He he knows what he's talking about. He's raced nitro for a very long time. And he was telling me about these new air filters, even to Max. So this is the Clinic RC 100% dry air filter suze, suze system. It uses a proprietary synthetic media offering if filter efficiency exceeding 99.8%. Stop It stops dust and dirt from entering your carburetor. It says it has unmatched dust holding capacity, provides the longest run times and maximum power, even completely dry. 
He says, simple maintenance and no messy oiling. Just blow the dust off from the inside out using low pressure compressed air. If it's extremely dirty, wash with maximum bio wash and warm water and allow to completely dry. Do not oil the filter or outer pre-filter. One dry filter will replace dozens of firm inserts, oils, and cleaners. The value is quickly realized. The dry filter is more economical, protects your expensive engine, and more efficient. So, also, I just want to say, this is the first real innovation in RC racing air filters in over 20 years. You can protect your expensive engine with this. This technology is actually used by the trophy trucks that do the Baja 1000 and desert racing. So they use this oilless technology as well, and it's coming to RC. Let me bring it. Let me bring it back up. Let's look at some more pictures here as well. And I'm excited. He's given us a couple to give away, and we're gonna give some away right now. And look hey, at Jeff Keaton. He has something Keenan, to say. You received but a super chat. I did. I missed yeah. it. Was it Dakri Man? No, it was uh, different. James Diggity. He gets entered into the competition. Thank you whoever you are uh, thank you for the super chat i missed that i was reading um he had a question as well okay so we'll ask his question as well so no, he no, goes like, i'm he has a question for you yeah read it okay we'll we'll get to, we'll get to that after we give away the um the okay. one of these air filters okay so our question for the air filters do we have a question all right do we yes, have a question yes yes it's it's about yeah i'll actually i'll, I'll ask it uh, okay go ahead Max. so before the company clinic rc existed the owner he was known for another rc company uh back in the day so there's two uh are we going to give only one away or are we going to give the two away we're going to give one away we'll, we'll save one for the spin the wheel okay so uh there's two sections of this question so what was the company called Oh, okay. And Colin Branch already got it, but he's already been entered. You can't, you, you're done. The, all right. So the adva but it's mean, advantage. But now the next question can... would be, what were they famous for? Yeah. What was the company famous for? So it was called Advantage Racing and they were famous for one, really famous for one thing. Colin, you're not supposed to answer. You already got in. No, but he can win the filter. Oh yeah. So he wins it. All right. Yeah. I forgot about that. <laughs> Colin, you win the filter. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I was thinking about getting him into the thing. He already in. Colin, Colin, you are too fast today. Colin Branch wins the Clinic RC Dry Filter. Uh, congratulations. Uh, you would definitely need that up there on those dusty PN, PNW tracks. And we're going to give one away and spin the wheel. And just because Ka 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 um, Colin is already in spin the wheel, we're going to pick a random person to join that spin the wheel in his and his we're gonna we're gonna go mason henderson he seems to be excited about it so enter mason henderson into the spindy wheel and colin is already there and also enter rc muse in the spindy wheel because they gave us a super chat super thankful for that all right hey, where was that question max yeah find find the question it was yeah you can find it a super chat on the, on the okay comments. so this is great because i wonder if connie's here and he can answer this he goes i'm taking my son to the isle of who cock yeah say it again i'm not saying it because i think this is a joke i'm saying i'm sending i know this is a joke i'm taking my son to the isle of cok <laughs> it's really it's not, not CFK. i know who this is i know who this is <laughs> you almost got me you almost got me you almost got me you almost got me i know exactly who that is ah uh, they almost got me um but if you really want to find out where your son we're, we're defined tracks on 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 house of rc oh my god they almost you almost got me too max you almost got me <laughs> oh man yeah but i think oh, i think man. james diggity is uh it's not the it's gotta be i know who that guy. is i know who that is yeah. he always does it on everyone so that's funny he almost got me um <laughs> but i know who it is so he's already entered he's already entered uh all right max uh let's Give away something else we have some papa willie's traction tonic to give away and i think we're gonna give that away to really one i say the first person who can tell me i this is an easy question i did 15 episodes of a of another podcast what was it called yeah, this is gonna be quick 
If Let's it see is if anybody Dynasty remembers Fight. that. Yeah, it was two years ago. Yeah. And it's based off the the name is based off a form that I I I love to talk about back in the day. Nope, it was not MXGP. Not MXGP. Chicken pot pie. pie. <laughs> <laughs> it was the RCGP podcast, but it was called something else. Yeah. They're getting close. They're getting go close. JQ's, JQ's left not podcast. <laughs> 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 oh, I know who this is. This is the guy from New Zealand who always sends fart videos to us. <laughs> I believe. There we go. Turn is getting hot. Ah, Magnus got it. The starting grid. He got it. So we enter Magnus. Oh, no, we're going to. Oh, Magnus, we need a US address, though, for Papa Willie's Traction Tonic. So we're going to have to give you. We're going to give Magnus. You know what? Do you order anything from. See, that's the problem. We need a European uh, hobby shop or something on the podcast as a sponsor so we can give some of the, the European guys some, some prizes when we do things yeah, we're like gonna, this. We're going to see if we can have something else for Magnus. But we're going to enter. Ma oh, dude, look, Tanner Denny just did announce. Amazing. Wow. Uh, Magnus, we're going to enter you into the draw, but honestly, the traction tonic, we cannot uh, send it across the the... The pawn. He goes, no, it's not. I'm Canadian. Okay, I don't know. Well, you're the guy who sends fart videos, I believe. I might be confused. There's another guy named Mason Henderson. Uh, all right, so we're going to have to give away... You know what? We're going to give away a bottle of traction compound to you know who? My good buddy, Joe Zaire Jr., because he got it. He got starting grid second. So he gets yeah. a, a bottle of Papa Willie's traction tonic, and he gets entered already. He's already in the wheel, but he gets entered. Good job, Savage Joe. Check out the Ran Out of Talent podcast. And um, he's looking for a new uh, co-host. I don't know if he's found one yet, but his co-host is 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 creating is is getting out next year. All right, we have some more things to go here. We have some more things here. What are we going to give away? Let's give away another Beach RC uh, twenty five dollar gift certificate, Max. Let's do that. Because we're in the Christmas spirit and we want to give away a lot of things. So we're going to do this. We're going to have a question from High Tech RC for the Beach RC giveaway. So what year was High Tech RC? The, all these guys who give uh, super chats, they all need to go in the wheel, by the way. Thank you to everybody that's given us super chats. We greatly appreciate it. Thank you, Douglas Reek, as well, uh, my good friend up in Minnesota. Uh, what year was High Tech founded? A, 1990, B, 1973, C, 1955. Oh, you guys are close. Okay, and Carly, he must be finished. Ah, uh, uh, Mason. Let me see it. No, Mason Carly, Mason. Carly, Carly got it first. Carly. <laughs> Kale. He must be from Sweden. 1973. Kale, can no, you use the finish? Oh, Kale, oh, yeah, well, he used the Sounds can he use the $25 sense. BTRC gift certificate then? So he wins one and he gets entered. Because I think he can, you know, get what a I don't know how much it's the year, but yeah, maybe. I don't know. Do, do you want to just get entered into the, the competition, Kale? Or are you gonna use that? Let us know. But we rent wrote your name down and we got you tentative oh. to a um Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna approach everyone uh, i'm writing the names down here so okay uh, colin branch thank you for the 20 up. bucks man we greatly appreciate that that that's great we we greatly appreciate that and Kali, Kali, congratulations on winning the 25 dollar uh 25 dollar gift certificate to beach rc so we've given two of those away let's give away another quart let's give away a donovan rc charge lead this is a big one we need a we need a we need a this is you know what? We're going to have another high tech question for this because I don't think anybody's going to get this. I don't <laughs> think anybody's going to get this. Should we give this high tech question? Uh, the second one? Yeah. All right. Maybe. I don't know. I think I think we will look at it, but I don't know. I mean I, I don't think 100% sure. I think to give away a charge deal for this this question is too easy. We're going to give away uh you know what? We're going to give away our first 
set of Lugs tires. And before we go on any further, we want to say thank you to Lugs Tire tires for their their support lugs has ha, has over 55 years of combined rc experience they've been testing treads wheels rubber and and different compounds for performance they have their lugs econ tires which are developed with racing budgets in mind high quality but lower cost gives savings can be passed on to you the customer they also have their premier brand of protos and tqs made using their lugs custom modes proprietary rubber compound the tires are available medium soft super soft mega soft and now long wear visit www.lugsracing.com use the promo code nnrc lugs to save some money on your order uh let's give away a set of they have given us let's see we have one set of tq truggy tires in red compound so who and this is i believe these are sets of four so you got a complete set of tires with this, which is great. So let's go. This is going to be a hard question and it's going to be a high tech question. What famous RC driver raced for high tech most recently? He's super famous. He's super famous. Do we have to give you an ABC? Do we need to give him uh, an ABC? Let's, let's, let's not give ABC yet. If you don't see any answers, uh, then well, Tony, well, Tony won. <laughs> <laughs> Tony won. So Tony wins. Uh, what did what did we say? Oh, Tony wins a set of lugs, uh, truggy tires to try out. Wow, everybody, everybody, wow, everybody got Drake. Everybody got Drake. Everybody that said Drake, you're getting put in the, into the wheel. Not everybody. Wow, that's a, that's a lot of people. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> oh wow we have oh, yeah, um we got a we got a lot of yeah we got a big um holy big wow now. wow thank you to vicky Payne. we know i know who you are thank you i appreciate that thank you thank you wow appreciate that but but tony still wins the tires so tony gets the set of truggy tires to try out and we're gonna put uh who else do we have her steven bess the bondi and Mason's already in there. Ru 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 yeah, I don't understand that. Rutro, I, I don't, I can't pronounce that. Brett Ryan and Toby Hanson, Robert Cooper and Chance, they all get in the wheel. That's a lot of people in the wheel. That's that's a lot of people. But congratulations. Yeah, but I mean, we, we, we will have a lot of people in the end. It's yeah, going to be yeah. big prices, so we're yeah, going right. to have to turn down the odds. Somehow. Yeah. Teddy says, I'll stop. See, that <laughs> Teddy says, I'll stop answering. All right. Um, you know what? We have the first person to tell us. All right. Who was the first three people? Um, episode number one of the NNRC podcast. Who were the first three hosts? And what did we talk about? And the winner of that will get a quart of TNR fuels. This should be pretty easy. Should be pretty easy. I don't easy. really know. The first ever echoey sounds like we're in a bathroom podcast of the NNRC. When I listened to that, it really, it really, nope, it wasn't, it wasn't, Max wasn't in there. JQ was in there and I was in there and we had one more person. He's been on the podcast before. He's actually got one of the most popular podcasts we've ever had. Nope, it wasn't Keaton. It wasn't it wasn't Keaton either. Uh, Keaton either. Nope, wasn't Brent. Yeah, I can't surprise people don't know this. Thank you, Nanoa. We're entering Nanoa into the my Nanoa and his cool son Raiden that entered into the NNRC draw today. Nobody's getting this. Wow. Okay, he's been on the podcast before and he's really he's he, oh mason come okay mason you want it mason, so you got a quarter mason, fuel i think mason already wants something oh no no he did no he didn't. i think we just okay. put him in the in the um yeah we in, the, in, in the, the draw so he wins a, a fuel ah colton vogel almost got it too so colton gets to go to the spin <laughs> he gets to go in the spins best goes Dagani Drake and they talked about how much they hated each other. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, that's so funny. So Mason Henderson gets in. All right. Um, let's give away a set of 
Um, hmm. Let's give away a set of big blocks, white compound lugs tires with white wheels. What do you say, Max? What do you say? Yeah. We need yeah. a good question for this, though. I don't. Let's see. Do we have a good question for this? We didn't prepare enough questions. You're doing the giveaways. I know. So, I know. <laughs> so we're gonna come up with a question. All right. I have a question. I have a question. Let me think about it real quick. <laughs> what? <laughs> You said you had it. All right. This is an easy question. And no, Tony Newland and Stephen Bass and those guys can't answer it. Who? Actually, nobody's going to get this because I don't even know the answer. So you better look it up, Max. I know it's the answer, but I don't know the answer. Who is the only two-time IFMAR eight-scale fuel world champion? Oh, I know this. I, I don't even have to look it up. You underestimate you my set. history knowledge about RC. You, yeah, you will win a set of a set of four of logs RC. Um, oh, where's Both the tires? Both wins before the uh, before this uh, this uh, century. Yeah, you will win a, a set of big block tires on white wheels from from logs. <laughs> they count. Nope. No, way before all of that. It wasn't. It wasn't European before two thousand uh, even started. Ooh, yeah. this was a good one. I know. I know. Stephen Bass knows, but I can't let him answer it because he knows his answer. Nope, Another it Japanese was a European. Price. European. Oh man, thank you to Dabondi. You need it for the Sith Lord action figures to send to Joseph and Max for the video backgrounds. Best wishes from the secretary. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, David. Thank you. I appreciate that. Wow. No, nobody's getting it. Nobody's yeah, getting it. J James Keaton got it. Maurizio he did? Yeah, oh, Maurizio okay. Monazzi. James Keaton. Well done, because I didn't even know his name. So yeah. um, what was his name, Max? Maurizio Monesi, uh was the Italian who won. First time, I think he won with... Uh, it wasn't the Kyoshi, it was Lara or something, something weird. Mm -hmm. One of the first ones. Or well, Yankee or something like that. The, yeah, something like that. And then the second one he won was with the Kyosho in, I think, 94. But I can't remember the exact year. Okay. Good stuff. Good stuff. I like that. Yeah. I like that. All right. So we're giving away two sets of tires. Let's give away um, another bottle of traction tonic. And this is easy. Papa Willis has been a long time sponsor of the podcast. You've heard me say it over and over and over. Somebody, the first person to tell me Papa Willis slogan wins a bottle of their uh, traction tonic. It's, it's pretty yeah, simple. And again, again, uh, most likely Americans only, right? Yes. Or if you have an American address, that helps. You yeah. can send it there. What's up, Chase? Come on, Papa Willie's Traction Tonic. Yeah, Kalle, Kalle Jarvinen got it right, uh, the years, 88 and 94. Oh, thank you. Wow, that's, that's not too much time. There we go. He says, Joseph Kud wins it. He gets it. It's Traction Cures Poor tra No. Tra Papa Willie's Traction Tonic Cures Poor Traction. He just didn't get the first part of it. So Joseph Cude gets entered and he wins a bottle of Traction Compound, which I'm sure he will use. Wow, we've got we got a bunch of Super Chats up in here. We got... Okay, we're good. We're doing good. We're doing good right up there. All right. Let's see, Max. What should we give away now? Do you have... You come up with a, a question, Darth I'm, Maximus. I'm, I'm horrible at coming up with questions. I'm always, it's always too hard. <laughs> like, the oh, that's what we need. Like, we need a hard one because people are getting them because last year, nobody got my questions. Okay. Um, we're going to give away a bottle of fuel. Stall for a bit. I'll think, I'll think of one. All right. You know what? I actually have a, I, whoa, thank you. Oh, that's right. House of RC 2.0 will launch in Q1. We're also giving away a membership for House of RC. Tony Today? messaged me on Messenger. Huh? I said to Tony Newland, he can message me on Messenger. He said he has a good question. Oh, message me on Messenger. Uh, send it to Max. And um, I'm yeah. going to look for 
Um, well, what's up? I was one. You know what? Dakri Man is going into the draw as well as Connie Swenson. I forgot. Uh, they Dakri Man. Every time he comes here, he does a super chat. I don't know who he is. I hope he wins something today. So we're gonna. Um, Max is trying to figure out a question. We're gonna give away some fuel for that, and then oh, he must have got it. He's smiling. He's smiling. Wow! Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody. How do you donate? Uh, on if you want chance, you could go on YouTube and do some super chats on there if you wish to donate. We greatly appreciate it. Uh, helps everything with us as well. Um, all right, Max. You know what? We need to come up with a question for this. Okay. So Tony okay. Newland just just uh, brought a question to my attention. Mm -hmm. uh, who is the only person to ever TQ all four qualifying rounds at Roar Nationals? in uh nitro buggy this this is something i didn't even know so i is... think i know the answer to this okay, but i can't say let's it see. yeah let's see if people know this we can discuss uh something in the meantime um i'm gonna give a hint that it's not a modern driver it's uh really uh, it's a bit a bit a bit older, older. so uh not clifflet uh oh i don't yeah. even know who this is i'm lost oh stephen best got it travis amesco you know wow uh, that was surprisingly quick uh, well like, stephen best should know that he was there probably yeah he was he's was probably there look jose that, or some that old dude still, that was still freaking i crazy. never knew that I yeah travis amesco yeah. peanut yeah, no clue. if he said with the first low sea buggy wow that's when um that th then he went to HB and that's when him and and robbers went on a tear like they were winning everything at some point yeah in that time interesting well Stephen Bass you win you win a bottle of TNR fuels but we know you already get it so he's good friends with Chris <laughs> Nelson so I don't know what okay. we're gonna send to Stephen Bass all right great question great question he says Bress wrote an article on it. Damn it! Yeah, he probably did. He probably did. I need to get Peanut on the on the podcast. I did ask him. You know, these old guys—they don't like to come on. I think they kind of want to leave RC in the background. All right, all right. So Maybe we donate that that uh, that fuel. Yeah, let's somebody. donate it to somebody. Who needs a? The first person to say we need a bottle of TNR fuels <laughs> in the comments gets it, and you have to have a US address. Yeah. Yeah, fuel is also only US, unfortunately. Fuel Someone and, say and the, the first person a to say of, a lot of this is US based too. Yeah, the first person to say the NNRC podcast. All right, Danny Help Hepler. What's up, Danny Hepler? He gets it. You get yeah, a quart of TNR fuels. Fuel me, Keenan. <laughs> you know what? Just for that, you get one too, because that was good. Yeah. Yeah, we have one left, so let's give the last one to. Yeah, that Austin was you. Schaefer. Austin Schaefer, you get that one. <laughs> oh, there's Matt Harrison. Uh, Matt asked, I look forward to seeing Matt at uh, Santa Barbara uh, in before DNC. Yeah, for sure. Looking forward to it. Mason, I think they can get the fuel to Canada. I think they can get it to Canada, no problem. All yeah, right, Max, have you, have you been keeping track of our prizes? How much do we have left to give away? We have... Um... Are we gonna give one? We're gonna save one filter for the for the wheel. Yes. We have one bottle of traction tonic left. Mm -hmm. uh, we have some lux tires left as well. Uh, let me check. So we have one set of lux tires left. You're gonna to have to choose which one we're gonna give away. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we have um, we have the autograph autograph stuff so i don't know if you want to do that with spin the wheel or uh yeah i do i do i actually yeah. do so um hold on for a second i'm just trying to download something while i'm while i'm doing this i don't i know that's not the best way um all right so let's give away something else let's think of a let's think of something we can give away you know who yeah. i'm giving something to we're gonna send we have we have a set of tires no he doesn't run eight scale so we can't send send him stuff um tire me says henderson he, i don't know can we <laughs> i like that guy. i like if he's awesome tire me <laughs> um hold on for a second guys max yeah. i'm gonna see if i could download something i'm gonna just uh be right back
I might. Okay. Am I being the host now for a second? Yeah, you're the host for a second. Okay, what I what I'm gonna talk about? Who has won the world's honest buggy from the farthest back position? Honest, honestly curious. Hard to say, but for sure it's been from way back off the grid. Uh, I doubt that it's from the last spot, uh, to be honest. But there has been for sure people who won it from quite far back. Uh, thanks for chasing Eric for the hype of the mustache. I get a lot of shit for for it, but uh, I'm I'm doing it. I'm going full. We gotta cut it off. We're gonna cut it off. No, the mustache isn't going. It's it's uh, it's here to stay. <laughs> but yeah, to Austin Schaefer, I I don't know the facts, but for sure, for sure, it's from back of the grid because uh, back in the day, there used to be a lot of DNFs. Uh, like. I remember this, the 2006 Indonesian Worlds, there were like six or seven guys who said they would have won it. <laughs> if you go ask him, like, Pavidis eventually won it, but uh, it was like, yeah, I think the Ghani led at some point, Courts led at some point, uh, Iguan led at some point. I was insane. Like, everyone was, was leading it. And even Joseph was leading the semis at one point before his engine engine gave up. Are we talk, so, yeah, we're talking about in Jakarta, was, right? Yeah, 2006 in yeah. Indonesia. Some Americans missed it, but uh, most were there. Like, yeah, they didn't go. They were nervous guys. to go there. Like, yeah. So I think like Tiba and those guys didn't go. Like, yeah, 10 scale guys were mostly. Yeah. Which F1 driver has won the 1 8 Euros? Uh, this is, uh, well, we should actually ask this from the people. Should we give the last set of tires to this? Because this is actually. Yeah, I don't question. even know the answer to this. Yeah. I don't know if it's off road, but it's for sure on road 1 8. Uh, I know. So uh, the one who gets this right, right first, which is I well, uh, there's at least one dr F1 driver I know who has won uh, RC eight scale euros in on road for sure. Uh, maybe in off road too. So the first one, okay, so it is off road. Says be around the fuck. So some, so so one who gets this right first gets the last set of tires, lux tires we have left. Should we do buggy, buggy ones? Um, we already gave, yeah, there's TQs, yeah, TQs, white compound. Lugs, okay. TQs, white compound. So let's let's see if someone gets it right. Uh, it's for sure, it's for Nobody's sure. Nobody's going to get it. Ago. I think someone will, but it's most likely going to be in European, so the shipping would be. All right, but you know what? Yeah. We're going to play a video. We just got this on, yeah. hot off the presses. We're gonna play a video, and it's it's about uh one of our prizes, and he couldn't be in her in person, but he sent me a video real quick, and uh, I appreciate oh. this. Oh, did somebody get it? No. All right. All hail the Viking is in the house. Hey guys, David Runafalk here. Uh, Keenan asked me if I had something for him and uh, for his giveaway, and I'm happy to let you know that I will be giving away one of my signed um, bodies, a wing, and a set of used tires that I have from, from the past season. So hopefully you'll be the one that wins this stuff, and uh, as soon as Keenan lets me know uh, whoever won, I'll be shipping it out. So I uh, just wanted to wish everyone a happy, happy holidays, a Merry Christmas, and a Happy New Year. Uh, stay safe out there, and uh, I hope to, to be able to see you all on the tracks next year. All right. Woohoo! Thank you, Viking, for the donation. So some lucky person will get an autograph HP body. I know I have one up there. I love it. It's pride of my collection. And they will get uh, a set of tires or a tire from the Viking as well. So that's part of our... Nobody's getting your question, Max. It's too hard. Yeah. Maybe uh, it may be too hard. You know what? Let's it's too see. hard. Let's see if someone's getting it. Ted Longshaw? What is he? Uh, Ted Longshaw. <laughs> is that the I guy? Is... Uh, oh, BJ, have, he has a trivia question. Shoot it to me, BJ, on WhatsApp. Who was the biggest surprise? Who was the big Degani? No, Degani yes. was one of the best ones. No, but a lot of time. people did not think that Greg Degani was going to win the 2000. Well, what about worlds. Cody King? Dude was like barely 18 yeah, that and was, won the world. Yeah, that's surprising too. Roman Groshan. 
No, it's from the eighties, way way back. Max's he, question he is too for, hard. He, he raced for McLaren. He used to be a McLaren's test driver for a long time. This should make it a lot easier for F one fans for sure. Phil McCracken. <laughs> <laughs> So the question is, who is uh, an F1 driver who uh, has won the eight scale off for years? And I've been let know by uh, Pierre Ranefout that uh, he won twice in 83 and 84. Uh, and he since then has raced uh, F1 for uh, one of his team was McLaren uh, in mid 2000s. Uh, he raced with uh, he raced with, I believe, um, Kimi for the first season, and uh, and um, after after that he was a McLaren test driver. Not not Hamilton, not any. Oh, Magnus Berlin. <laughs> he won again, but this time I think I think Lux can send it to him. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, maybe Magnus we Berlin get got it. So it's Pedro well, de la Rosa who was the the guy. He really? Won the European I, Championships twice. I did not know that. I did not know that. Really? Huh. Yeah. Interesting. All right, Pedro. I mean, Pedro. <laughs> Magnus, a <laughs> long time supporter of the podcast. We're going to figure out a way to get those yeah. tires to you. Oh, but yeah. uh, Eduardo, Eduardo Rossi says he answered first. He did. He, he did. He did. He did. He wins. He also he gets a $25 gift certificate and logs tires. Sorry, Magnus. I think we're going to. Uh, there was there was someone oh, oh there was other guys too yeah oh, Edward they, Ross is actually the first one yeah you're right yeah so he gets the tires but but there's okay yeah maybe he gets them then <laughs> yeah so he was Magnus fast got he was fast on this one. <laughs> sorry Magnus, Magnus. He, he won <laughs> we'll, he but Magnus is a patron I think he'll he'll have another chance to win something oh All right, yeah we're we... gonna have a giveaway for patrons thank you Kale for the super chat man we greatly appreciate that and uh, I, we appreciate the kind words, man. We're trying. We're trying to make RC cool. Um, all right, Max. What else do we have to give away? And then we're gonna we're gonna do some spin the wheel. Uh, and uh, you know what? In that meantime, we're gonna take some questions. Is JQ Threads giving up any prizes? No, but JQ did send. Uh, we're giving away invisible speed. So we're giving away an invisible speed in the course. Check my boy. Ch this is my boy out of Albuquerque. My dude, Chance. Thank you, my dude. I appreciate it. Can't wait to hang out with you guys and the rest of the New Mexico guys uh, next year, man. I appreciate that. Max, um, all right, guys, we're going to take some questions while Max and William Wallace get to spin the wheel going. Let's see. BJ sent me a trivia question. We'll put something here to give away with uh, BJ's trivia question. We, uh, we already asked that, though, BJ. We already asked that. Somebody got it. Okay, I have a, I have a. Uh, Tony, Tony sent me one. So yeah, this is a good who question. Who designed, who designed the OG Losi One Eight? So this is actually a Finnish designer and a Finnish world champion who designed the original uh, One Eight buggy for Losi. And uh, I, I don't think there's, a, is there something uh, who, uh, who can, ah. who can win it? <laughs> These guys Steven are really good. Got it. Okay, luckily Tony had a few others. But you know what? So he, he, We're gonna he had, give it. Uh, yeah, the one who so Stephen Bass, he's already in the in the spin the wheel, right? Yeah, we're gonna there enter an, Jonathan Wolf in. Oh no, Stephen Bass. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Jonathan Bass is Wolf, already in. Um, yeah, Jonathan we're gonna Wolf, enter Maca Michaela Walker as well into yeah. the spin the wheel yeah they've been active on that she wants to see her dad one more time mike get ready your daughter wants to see you online one more time hold on <laughs> say hello and merry christmas to michaela <coughs> hello i'm mute your mic mike i'm mute your mic so okay so another a trivia question for uh a spot in the spin the wheel who designed the hp buggy uh I think I don't think he designed the original one, but he designed the CR8, which was never re released, mm -hmm. and also the Associated, which was never released. Say Merry Christmas to Michaela. She's been asking for you this whole time. She's <laughs> Merry Christmas to my little girl Michaela, which started her eight scale racing career this year. 
Yes, she did. We're looking forward to her Even better. Uh, racing She's next good. year. We can't wait. She loves it. But we're going to have to ban Stephen Bess. He has all the answers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's all right, Mike. Good. Yeah, you can hang. Yeah, he's. Uh, we're going to. Oh, ooh. Well, Stephen Bass got it, but we can't enter him again. And Danny Hapler got it, and he already. Yeah, we kind of should have thought these out a little bit better. We're gonna have to ban <laughs> yeah. Steve Bass I told you. from all I... trivia competitions now. <laughs> he says, "Sorry, I'll stop." He know this guy knows all this stuff because he was writing all about it. You know, if you got if you guys haven't listened to the Steve Bass interview, it's really good. It's I don't know is which he, episode it is. is. He like from is he one of those Velocity magazine guys? No, or? he used to he used to be the editor of um, Extreme RC RC Cars. Oh, okay. And cool. all that, yeah. This, if you, you was reading his articles back in the day, yeah, we've done a really good, really good, really good uh, one. But yes, it's Josh Alton. I don't know who, what, we was giving anything away for that, anything like that. Yeah, that was just for, for a spot in the spin the wheel. But okay, spot and spin the wheel. <laughs> Robert Cooper, thank you for the support, dude. Th you have a Merry Christmas as well. Um, <laughs> I'm not even going to answer that one. All right. So let's let's go. I think that's our last giveaway, Max. Are you putting? Are we getting the spin the wheel going? Is William doing that? Who's doing that? Um, let's let's ask a few more questions. You guys have any questions you want to ask us while while you're here? Yeah, let's do so that so that a lot more people get a chance to get in. Uh, every sort of good question we get, we're gonna have uh, uh, added Mark, to the spin. Let's uh, let's add Mark Br Bruton Young. Skidmore's to Mayako? I don't think so. I don't know if uh, their dad and JQ will get along. But um, <laughs> I actually think they're going to HB, it looks like. Come on, keep those questions coming. And is, is Santa Maria married to Santa Claus? Yeah, let's enter Van Holding sign in, the, in, in there just for that. Nitro World Order? I'm not going to put that publicly. <laughs> Actually, we did. Uh, we did. BJ, we asked who won the worlds twice, and it was um, what's his name, Max? Who? What was the guy who won the worlds tw twice? Uh, Maurizio Monesi. Yeah, we we got the answer for that. Um. All right, here's a question for you guys: How many times has America won the IFMAR World Championships? Mm. She is so happy to see you on screen, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Stephen Bash, you can't answer this because I know you know the answer. You can't answer it. And neither can Tony Newland. Three. Yeah, okay, man. Paul Vanderweel, you won that. Name the three. Only three? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's true. Wow, I didn't think of it. Oh, because Tessman is Canadian. Yeah, I know a lot of people think it's, it's uh, yeah, we definitely need a Riders Cup of RC. Yeah. So the three people to win it, we're going to enter, uh, because he guessed it right, Paul Vanderveel gets entered into the wheel. The three people that have won it are Greg Degani was the first, Cody Ke Mark Pavita second, and Cody King third. And Tessman, yes, he's it can consider North America, but he's Canadian, eh? Yeah. <laughs> useless or otherwise yeah. so if you have your questions for us or me or in setup on anything on how what, what we're going to eat at Christmas <laughs> anything you come up with you can ask us if they're good questions you're going to get added to the spin of the wheel as well so enter 33 Wody he, he got the, the names right as well yeah Oh, what tires did Pavidis use to win his worlds? I, I don't I, know. Pro line. Yeah, pro, pro line. line. Yeah. He was on pro line. What tires did Greg use to win his worlds? Something some that he stole out of the back of the pro line van. <laughs> 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 That's a great story. All right, Max, let's favorite Christmas movie. Uh my favorite Christmas movie is actually um Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer, the animation mm. film. That's a tough one. No, for I me, don't even I don't know Christmas movies. 
I like the very old one, which is very dark and snowy, and it has that uh, "Walking in the Air" song in it. I don't know what it what it's called. I remember we watching it in school. I like Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer, the animated version. I know it's Christmas when I watch that. <laughs> Should I put gin or brandy in the Christmas pudding? I don't know which other one <laughs> tastes the best. Ham or turkey? Turkey all the time. The USA has the most total IFMAR World Championships. Do they? I think. If you count 10 scale and if you count, because yes. I did I did the statistics. So in the past 10 years, uh, America Americans have got uh, eight out of the 10 uh, IFMAR Worlds in 10 scale. Uh, and uh, in eight scale, it's almost the polar opposite, whereas Europe and, uh, well, actually, if you count Tesman as American, it's a bit more balanced. It's uh, six to four. Yeah. Uh, uh, sorry, three to two. But uh, this, I think it's hard to call because uh, there are a lot of classes. So for sure, Japan has a lot because of Masami. And uh, Europe has a lot uh, in the past. I don't think America is number one if you count all the classes. If you count off-road only, then maybe. Because I doubt that America has a lot of wins in on-road. Uh, well, maybe Knuckles. back in the days. But in eight scale worlds, it's, it's Europe, I believe, right? Oh, for sure. Yeah. Japan has a few, but Europe is by far the biggest. Oh, most eight scale worlds per country. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I, I'm not 100% sure. It, it might be Japan or Italy. Yeah, I was thinking one of those two. Yeah. I just have to comment that you guys are amazing on RC history. I'm sitting here taking all this in, and I don't even know a quarter of this stuff. We're geeks, man. My, my yeah. whole life. <laughs> yeah, like, answer Italy. Carly Haravan knows it all. He said, yeah, it's, it's Italy. Yeah. yeah. Italy has Italy four. Italy has four. It's best. Best knows it, too. I'm t See you later, best. Yeah. You have a Merry Christmas, man. We got to get you back on the podcast, dude. Got to get you back on. All right. Who made the phrase? This is a good one. Who made the phrase left tire salute? What's up, my boy? And you get entered into the competition. <laughs> Golari won, I think, uh, eight ten. World championships. I thought it was like 10. My boy, Corey eight, Jordan, nine made that. Yeah, nine, something like that. Something like that. I, like, I, when, I was, when I was a kid, I used to go to Neo Buggy and just read. Like, because he made these very nice uh, store, like uh, past worlds uh, write up. So he had like Mick Craddock there explaining what the worlds went like uh in in the 80 80s and and stuff so those were always very exciting and i read through those and uh, that's why i kind of know like because i was born in 2000 so most of the stuff we're talking about i was like a fucking kid so i had no clue so <laughs> oh i have, we have a couple, i've read up on all of it we have a couple of good questions but the bondi says max remove hoodie and cap for recording time it's christmas you need another hat he needs a Mayako yeah, I don't hat. have a Christmas. I don't have a Christmas hat. And yeah, I do need a Mayako hat. I think I figured out earlier why Max wears a hoodie all the time. I think he's secretly an elf and he's trying to hide his ears. Yeah, he's my Christmas <laughs> elf because the other one didn't show up today. This uh, Okay, this this question by Pierre on the fuck is actually really good. No, no, hold on. We uh, have a setup question real quick. Oh, okay. Okay, 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 so yeah. D70, racing 8 scale again on clay track for the first time. Any change to set up that's a definite a definite from a definite from a typical loose track loose track dirt tracks other than tires and d70 gets entered in the wheel if he isn't there already uh anyone change the setup that's definite from typical loose dirt tracks um there really isn't like one specific thing uh generally you could use a lot more anti-squat uh because there, there aren't many bumps uh also, uh, you might be able to get away with uh, a higher roll center because you don't have bumps to catch catch there. Um, those are so, sort of the few things uh, I'd probably say are very distinct. Um, but yeah, it's it's a uh, yeah, it's it's not it's not that uh, that big. But yeah, maybe maybe you could go thicker on the center diff sometimes. But it's the diff might like if it's low grip on the clay then no but yeah i'd say higher roll center and uh sort of um, more anti-squat are the biggest sort of 
uh, biggest sort of um, things that you you are able to do. Pierre Ronafo, yeah. which U.S. driver has won the Euros? This is a good question. No, 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 I have no, 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 idea. no, no. Read again. Which U.S. driver's car has won the Euros? <laughs> oh, um, Adam. Oh, I can say it. Adam Drake. Yeah, you got it before that viewers got it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was uh, Darren Bluefield's car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The 2012, uh, they had uh, Drake come over to uh, mechanic for Bloomfield, and they started out with Bloomfield's car, and then they would just gave up and <laughs> put Drake's car in the track, and Bloomfield uh, went up and won it. And by the way, it was a crazy fight. You can find that on Neo Buggy, the main and. It was Ronafog was actually leading it. Uh, it. It would have been his worst uh, first European Championship, but uh, right at uh, right up to the like last last lap, they were battling with the Boots uh, Bloomfield, and Bloomfield ended up winning it in the end. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Who had more beer in twenty twenty one? And actually, that was a good race too. It was at um, Fairing, and I yes, remember watching okay. that. Yeah. Yeah. Who had more beer in 2021, Ryan Reese or Germany? I don't know. That's a hard toss-up because <laughs> Ryan Reese can definitely drink some beer. I thought I could drink a lot of beer. Jesus, but that dude can put back some cores like. All right, Max, uh, let's enter some more guys in here. Let's enter Troy yeah. Nicholson. He's a good long-time friend. We got EK, EKJ24000, Kenneth Pope, Jonathan Wolf, Curtis Vong, yeah, let's enter those guys in the competition. Why do cars only break in crashes that don't look bad? That's a good question. Maybe because you hit, you broke something, you you fractured it on a bad, on a, a simple crash before, on a harder crash before that, and when you did the big crash, the smaller crash, you finally snap. Actually, it's it's uh, uh, like it's weird because when the car doesn't move when it crashes. Uh, it's uh it actually like it the the force is much more uh, sudden and that's why it breaks so when you have a huge crash where you like roll around and cartwheel down a straightaway it actually dissipates the force so that's why the most uh most um show showmanship crashes are not always the most uh breakable can you repeat the names you said keenan all right so we're gonna put kenneth pope in there uh, we'll put Kaka Lappin 23, I guess. That's his name. <laughs> yeah, he's Kaka on the Lappin Discord, 23. So he's very active on the Discord. Yeah, EJ, e, EKG 24,000. That's Corey Jordan. And I guess we have to put Pierre Ronald. So if Pierre Ronald wins uh, his son's autograph uh, body and <laughs> yeah, tires, <laughs> you're not to pay I don't for think shipping. that's going to happen. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Troy Nicholson. <laughs> you think about ship shipping? <laughs> <laughs> Troy Nicholson, and we're gonna add D seventy and Jonathan Wolf. All right, I think we better start making some draws here. Let's see. Uh, oh, and we gotta put Salty Frickin' Joe, who isn't salty no more because he finally got his Mayako kits and is so happy. And is like, I'm sorry for being an asshole for the last two weeks <laughs> and pissing you off. So, <laughs> congratulations, Salty Joe. Finally got his cars. Enter Jamie Powell as well. He's been very active. Uh, Jamie, I hope to get... I, I'm planning on PMB, hopefully. And um, I would like to go to M AMS, especially if they do the format like they did this year. I definitely want to get to that. Uh, I would love to. Wicked Weekend has always been one of the races I want to get to as well. So, hopefully, uh, we, can, we can make some money and we can get some budget to travel to these races uh in which country <laughs> in which country in euros drink much beer too much drink the most beer i don't know man you finish people seem to drink a lot of beer well we drink a lot more like booze because yeah, you, finnish people are drunks not and depressed uh, <laughs> yes <laughs> so okay this is actually a good question would you change mapping for throttle uh, in e-buggy or if the track changes uh and this is like uh, I don't do this often and uh, not a lot, uh, but I, I, what I like to do is just uh, tip down the dual rate. So I have uh, two, because it's a sound where you can have like race, uh, race mode one, two, three, two, like one to five. So 
So I have a few race modes where it drops the dual rate a bit. So when you drop the dual rate, it just moves the throttle curve uh, lower all the way through. And you can use the throttle the same way, but you just have less input. That's a very good way to have, uh, like if the grip goes down, you just click that or if your engine, like it was really good once where I was practicing and like I, I wanted to try it out uh, and my engine was a bit lean and I just clicked it down and it, uh, immediately I could just drive it again normally, even though the engine was a bit lean. Uh, obviously the idle was a bit high, so I had to like brake earlier, but the throttle feel when I went on power was the same. So dual rate is actually a good tool uh, to use because when your engine is too lean, like you can't even open it full. Like the, if you open the Venturi full, it's just like, yeah, it's too much. So uh, it, that's something I do quite a lot actually. Sweet. Sweet. Uh, we're going to enter Casey into the, into the, into the draw. Uh, BJ says that Japan and Italy are tied both with four eight scale world championships. Very yeah. Good. So for, for, for Japan, it would be Kanai, Sanada, Hara, and, uh, will be the fourth. I don't know. Uh, there was one in the eighties. So Sanada was in 90, then Kanai in 2000. And Hara in 2008, but then there was one in 88 who was Japanese. I can't James, his name. James Keaton asked if we can zoom in on Mr. High Tech so we can see the servo. These are the, what, what are the 938s, Mike? Yeah, these are the 9381s. We'll be giving one of those away and spin the wheel. Oh, and yeah. we'll enter James Keaton into that as well. As well, we'll enter him into yeah, he, he has already, a chance of in that. He, he already was in. Wes Kowick asks, how does the servo charge the battery? I think Mike described this, uh, Mike Mayberry. I believe the same people that do the Tesla, did everything, the, did the programmer for Tesla, did this to the servers. Somehow, works, some way. It works, yeah. it works in the same um, general idea as automotive um, electric cars and such. Um, when you yeah. apply force in one direction, it produces electrical output in another so it stores and recharges the battery off of those inputs and outputs yeah. that's amazing basically sort of the the physical theory behind it is is when you have an engine like rc engine you have a magnet inside and then you have an electric circuit around it and if you put uh like if you have electricity going through the circuit the magnet there's the magnetic field which spins spins the a magnet around which would be the rotor in these servos, there is a, is a, a, a motor as well. But when, when the engine, uh, when the servo goes to brake, uh, instead of using the engine and putting it in reverse, it puts on like the brakes, uh, which sort of means that the, the electric field spinning uh, or the magnetic field spinning is creating uh, electricity in the, in the motor. And this is something that happens always. But if you don't, you, you can, like, if you make it normally, you, it doesn't save the energy, it doesn't store the energy anywhere or use it in the other direction. So this is something electric cars and the servo has utilized. Something else so, I'd like to add to the, uh, to that 9381 is uh, throughout different manufacturers, you, everybody usually goes and looks at the max amount of torque for the max amount of uh, voltage that uh, is advertised will the 9381, the advertised torque of the servo is the same at all voltages. You don't lose any of your torque or speed out of the servo, even if your battery is dropping down at six volts or below. Mm. So the maximum amount of torque and speed that the servo is able to generate at a fully charged receiver pack, which is usually around 8.4 volts at peak, it makes the same amount of power at 8.4 volts as it does at 5.4 volts. Very good. And James, he wants to know, you can contact uh, Mike Walker. He's on Facebook. Or uh, uh, if you need, contact us, and we'll put you in contact with him as well. And um, check them out. They're really cool servers. All right, Max. I think we, we're going to enter Wes into that and Bob's RC. Do we have yeah, Cole I want to give a shout-out to my, my Finnish, uh, Finnish uh, compadre, Kalle Jagerinen. He's been giving a lot of info. Like, yes. uh, he's, he's been answering the questions pretty well today. So, yeah, he's yeah. definitely added to the wheel as well. Yeah, and AE Fanboy needs to be added in, big supporter of the podcast. And let's let's do some draws here. Let's get it up. We're, get, we're going on an hour and a half. And yeah, uh, I guess, you know, people want to win some spins. stuff. 
All right. Let's so let's do the see what we ones. have left. We actually have one of Papa Wheelie's traction tonic left. Should we do a question for it? No, let's do a spin the wheel. Or do you have yeah, a good question? You put me on the spot, man. <laughs> let's do spin the wheel. Let's get it over and done with. So somebody wins that. Maybe I need to think of an RTGP question. Oh, God. Italy. All right. So BJ actually broke it down really well. Uh, Italy, yeah. Monza, Dos, La... Uh, Monza, yeah, La name. France, Amaro, <laughs> And then Kanai, Sanada. Uh, I don't Very know about who is Hawaii. Are we playing Kanai. spin the wheel? Kanai, Sanada, Toge. That should be Check Hara, my... I think, not Hawaii. <laughs> Check my boy. What's up, Renzo? How you doing? Lorenzo. I haven't spin seen you. Good wheel. to see you racing. Check out his channel are you, as well. Are you ready, Will, to spin the wheel? We got to add it to the stream here. Can we? Yeah. All right. So let's do, but this, this person who gets, uh, gets the, the traction tonic gets added back to the wheel because this is a yeah. small price. This is sort of a, a round, a pre round. So let's spin the wheel for uh, the last traction tonic. Let's hope this is an American. So we don't have to spin it again. <laughs> it is. It's actually Vicky Payne goes to Tony Newland. Congratulations. Uh, congratulations. 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 Yeah. Yeah. All right, so let's keep them in there. And what are we going to go next, Max? We have... Um... So next, we're going to have actually... Uh, <coughs> um, next, we're going to have some bigger th uh, bigger prizes. So we have given away the Lux tires. We have given away Papa Willys uh, and TNR Fuels and the gift certificates from BHRC. We, well, have we, have one, we have a couple more. We have one... Uh, Clinic RC air filter. Should we start out with that? Yeah, sure. Let's start out with that. So Clinic RC air filter. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and spin the wheel. Oh, almost salty, Joe. Almost. <laughs> Jamie Powell. <laughs> Jamie Powell. All right. Congratulations. Southeast race. You, yeah, you know Jamie, right, Mac, uh, Mike? Yeah, yeah, name. Yeah. <laughs> the answer is Harry. <laughs> he almost got me. Almost got me again. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> these guys, they know because Keenan's going to just read it and he's not even going to pay attention. <laughs> um, I, I learned. All right, Max, what's next? We got a techno. What, what about the techno so RC $100 now, certificate? Now we're going to go to the section of the podcast where we're going to give some actually some pretty, pretty high quality prices. So um, we have the Racecraft. Well, I mean, these are these are sort of uh, if you are a collector of RC items, these are very nice. So we have the Racecraft DSA uh, has given us autographed pink hat. I don't know who has yep. autographed it. Autographed by Cole Ogden, the Flamingo Hats. People's champ. There we go. So People's you got a Racecraft champ. autographed hat. Yeah. So, yeah, let's start out with that. And let's spin the wheel. Let's see what happens. We should have some music on this. RC oh. Muse. RC Muse, think, but he's going to have to pay shipping. Or we're going to have to, I believe he's French. So yeah, he's in Europe, we're probably so. going to have to spin again, if, unless he has. Um, we're going to have to figure out. Or maybe, <laughs> do we have something in Europe? No. no. I mean, we have Hackberg or uh, Runner Fox. Yeah, maybe. but we kind of have to have a draw for that. To. Let's let's spin again because let's spin again. Bill, need, write write his name need down. To be American. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, I think he's going to stay on the wheel. Yeah, he's. I think he's still in there. Yeah. So let, that was a, that was a, that didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> a do over. <laughs> if, he, if he agrees to play shipping, he can get it though. But. Yeah. So let's spin again. Let's try to get an American. Let's hope for American. We got like. Next year we gotta have gotta have to sort this out for sure. <laughs> All right, I don't know where Dakery Man is, but he wins. <laughs> I believe we're gonna. He's getting it no matter what, even if I have to pay for shipping because he he's <laughs> always uh, supporting us. So, Dakery Man, you won the pink flamingo Co Ogden autograph hat. Congratulations. 
Yeah, man. So, which what is next? Next one would be the Alexander Hackberg uh, body. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, this is exciting. This is uh, this is nice for a this can go anywhere. Park, right? This could go anywhere. We do need some music for this. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Kina needs to figure out some some music. Wes um, Kowick, congratulations. I mean, but it needs to be. He's <laughs> American. Well, congratulations, Wes. You win the Alexander Hagberg. Uh, Europeans matter. Hey, we're we're all we're all willing to give it to the Europeans if they are willing to pay for shipping. Yeah. So Wes Kowick, you won the Alexander Hagberg uh, autograph body, and I believe the high tech stuff can be shipped worldwide as well, right? Yes, Ma Mike. So yes, good. Sure. Okay. And this is the hard part of doing doing physical things because the world is yeah. a big place, and the invisible speed is is virtual <laughs> as well. So let's give away a Techno RC hundred dollar gift certificate. This could be worldwide too, I think. Uh, what is it? One hundred dollar the... Techno RC gift certificate. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, Techno RC one hundred dollars. Spin the wheel. Thank you, Techno RC, for the continued support of the podcast in twenty twenty two. We greatly appreciate it. Uh, you've been a long time supporter of the podcast. Oh, Paul Van der Wheel. He can use that. He's in Canada. He can. He can use that. Congratulations, Paul, former JQ driver. Oh. Are we going to ignore that the voice called it Papa Willie's traction tonic at one point in the ad? What was, what was the, what was the name? I missed. Uh, it. Paul Vanderveel. And I don't know how the last part is spelled. I don't know how to just Paul Paul VD. Okay. VD. So next up, uh, what, what we're going to give next? away the high tech servo because this is world high tech too. servo. Nine three eight regenerative yeah, power. So value now of drum roll. Yeah. Oh, 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 Congratulations. Congratulations! You won yourself a new high-tech servo. Thank you, Mike. Tell him he tell him his one one badass servo. Thanks, Danny. We appreciate it. Hope you enjoy it. If you need anything, you feel free to reach out to me. Cool. We got Ryan Reese. Ryan Reese in the house. How much beer did Ryan Reese drink in 2021? That should be a great <laughs> question. All right. So yeah. what's up, Max? What do we have left? Or let's so uh, give have, away. Okay. So let's see what we have left. So we have the autographed Viking uh, body and mm -hmm. wing and tires. We have House of our RC Year membership. Mm -hmm. We have uh, um, Beach RC fifty dollar certificate. I think we have that and a twenty five dollar. I think. Uh, oh, no. I don't. I think we're done in the 20. Oh, no, yeah, okay. we have the 25 because no okay. one got it for the... So we have 25 and $50 for BHRC. And then we have uh, Donathan RC charge leads, personal charge leads. And uh, so should we do the charge leads next? Yeah, let's do a charge lead. Awesome leads from Donathan RC. Thank you for the support. You can fully customize them. He showed me some new stuff that he's doing here. And I believe these are... I believe uh, these can be shipped worldwide. So, okay. So this, this let's open European wins this time. So, yeah. <laughs> like it's not that biased. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. Oh boy, salty, it's salty Joe. Joe. Yay! The saltiest of salts. What did he win again? A fifty dollar beach RC. <laughs> No, no, the, the charge <laughs> lead. Oh, the yeah, he will like that. Some, yeah, Salty is going to have some very nice charge leads. It very looks good. like Salty Joe's luck's turning around this week. Yes, we did. Yeah, we gave the, we had a way. 
Yeah. That was a non that was a non American. He was out of he's Bermudian. So it's not that biased. All right, yeah. let's let's give <laughs> away one is, um uh, the BHRC twenty five, right? Yes. Uh, during when we spin the wheel, uh, Mike can answer this. What servers do you suggest for one eight and one ten from high tech? Um, the one eights will be the ninety three eighty ones, and depending on if you need a uh, a short servo, we have a new triple seven that I would recommend looking into. Eduardo this, Rossi wins again. This dude's won everything today. <laughs> Congratulations, Eduardo Rossi. Man, the luck is with Brazil today. I believe he's from Brazil. I hope so. It's not that biased. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. So what we got next, Maximus? So next up would be the $50 gift certificate for BHRC. Okay. So, yeah, let's see how that goes. Yeah, we definitely should have planned this though. <laughs> Jonathan Wolf, yeah, so an English person won it. Congratulations. Now you can order congrats. from Beach RC. It's probably there gonna you cost go. you fifty dollars to ship it there, but <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> congratulations. Oh, who was it? Who won? Uh I, I missed it. Oh sure. Who it? won Jonathan just now? Jonathan Wolf, right? All right, Jonathan, Jonathan Wolf. Jonathan Wolf. Congratulations. All right. Um, we should do the David Ronafalk wing and yeah. thingy. Let's do that one oh. next. The Viking. The effing Viking. So excited about that. So excited about that. Nice time, Bill. What was that? Mike's phone. I was Mike's trying phone. to find some uh, music. Oh, shit. Savage Joe, Joe won the Viking oh, package. Here. Congratulations, Savage Joe. And check out his podcast, Ran Out of Talent. Congratulations, Joe Zaire. Hey, Jonathan Wolf says, give it to someone else. I'm in the UK. So let's do another respin for the $50. Um, uh, you should. Yeah, let, let's do another respin for the $50. And um, you know what, Jonathan? We'll figure out something to get to you, dude. Uh, we'll figure out something being a good sport we need a uk hobby shop man or a yeah, european we need, hobby we shop need some, on board. we need some hobby shop presence around the world so we can do this so yeah steven best for what was it fifty dollars fifty dollar beach rc and he answered a bunch of questions so yeah. congratulations to steven best okay so are we tuning so we have so right now what we have left is House of RC year membership, mm -hmm. uh, the charger from high tech, and two indivisible speed courses. No, just one. I guess one will be for patrons. Okay. Yes. So, yeah. Two, one for one for today. So should we start out with the House of RC membership? Yeah, let's do the House of RC member membership. And thank you and for Connie for all the support of the podcast over the last two years. It's greatly appreciated. Go to House of RC, sign up, make a, a profile for yourself. And looks like Mason Henderson, you get a one year membership Mason Henderson. to House of RC value of 60 bucks. Go there, make up your uh, House of RC profile and join the fastest growing community. There is. Yeah, uh, Chase, a guy named Dakri Man, only fitting with a nickname like that won the um won the uh they watch me call it the uh the hat yeah yeah we need to figure out his who his actual name is now yeah <laughs> so who who won the membership may oh mason henderson mason henderson thank you for, for, okay. for joining us so now we're actually moving into the the biggest prices so the charger is worth a few hundred dollars almost or in retail 200 plus uh, dollars yeah. yeah so this is one of our biggest biggest prices um um yeah i wish we had music to hype it up but yeah maybe, let's spin on. the wheel and see see who gets it oh we hold see. on maybe don't i have spin, a always oh, it's over 
Can I have this Max's A hoodie? Ridiculous one. <laughs> Should I give away my A hoodie? It's probably very no name, for use. RC but be around if I win it, but I don't know. Ridiculous. <laughs> maybe, maybe he needs Woo! it. What is that? Pierre Pierre fuck. we can't give you the high tech charger, Pierre. <laughs> Come on, Pierre. <laughs> you would even you, you didn't even race. Can we give this to somebody else? Yes, I think I think Pierre doesn't win it. We have to give that to somebody else. Sorry, Pierre. Uh, Pierre, Pierre, I don't know if he races himself. He, I, I don't know if he has planes. He might have that. C yeah, said, spin it again. Okay. Thank you, okay. Pierre. That's Thank good. you for being a good sport. <laughs> But you see, a, a European won it. European won it. So, yeah, that's the issue. <laughs> oh, it's always the wrong European to win it. So close. Oh, Magnus. Oh, it's, I'm Congrats really happy that he wins it because he missed so many. He missed yes. like twice. <laughs> Magnus, so you win the Charger. Congratulations. Congratulations, dude. Enjoy. Wow. That was fun. That was fun. So, the final giveaway is for something that I think that uh, is really even more amazing, just about as amazing as Runafog joining Mayako, was the ability for Joseph to make this online course, which is Invisible Speed. I think this is really good for many levels of RC, from beginners to intermediates to pros. Uh, I think it's worth joining this and, and participating in it. I've been in the meetings with it and, and watched the, the live presentations by the pro drivers and Joseph's done a really great job with it. This is a value of $400, I believe. And, um, oh, you know what? I just can't, um, you know, it's, it's really something that everybody should be checking out and trying to do because this is kind of like the future. So we have an Invisible Speed online course up I also want to thank High Tech for that. That was super thankful of them to give us those awesome prizes. And I think the people are going to enjoy them. I know I'm enjoying my charger and I can't wait to, uh, uh, to try that and do that. So up now is for one and the last prize for the Invisible Speed course valued at $400 courtesy of InvisibleSpeed.net. Who's going to win this? Watch Pierre win it. Pierre's going to win it. Maybe Pierre will win it. Oh. Oh, just who needs to win it, too. Yes. Congratulations. Well done, <laughs> Corey Jordan. Win, right? I know you're going to like that, and he's going to talk about it on his YouTube channel. Go kit Corey and give him a like and a sub. Congratulations to Corey Jordan. Congratulations. Thank you to Invisible Speed. Uh, does the invisible speed cover fifth scale? I'm sure it, it will. Connie, you're going to have to make some videos for JQ. Uh, we'll remove that. Uh, hold on. Oh, did I remove somebody? No, I added somebody. Uh, we'll remove that. Wow. So another great Christmas show in the books, gentlemen. Uh, we gave away a lot of prizes. We had a lot of fun. Uh, I, anything else before we, uh, we go on you remember patrons, we're going to have a separate uh drawing for you guys probably next week sometime i don't know if we're going to do it on discord or we might do it through her we'll see how it goes <clears throat> thank you to all the sponsors that donated man it's so awesome to see uh the sponsors giving away and this is you know we you guys give us so much all year long that this is our way of giving back to you guys the listeners who tune in and help support the podcast and make this happen so uh hope and hopefully next year we'll be doing a lot more giveaways maybe smaller and, and and doing them on a random podcast as well so we got a lot of things planned and we just we're just super happy and excited to that you guys choose to support us and listen to us ramble on for hours and even when we say some things that are like ooh, <laughs> that guy over there says a lot of those things and what? um we we greatly what? appreciate Me? the support and we are looking watch this space we're, we're stepping it up in 2022 you are gonna you're, you're gonna get tired of seeing us because we're just gonna be yeah. we're gonna be busy <laughs> busy 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 and uh you know what all of you have a, a very merry christmas thank you mike for your time thank you to Very're high welcome. tech uh thank you oh, there we go bj you know what bj next time during the next year i'm gonna put you we're gonna put you on the team 
and we're gonna get some trivia going so we could do some giveaways. You're really good at this. He's good at this. Yeah, we gotta. BJ's we gotta got an like, awesome radio voice too. Yeah, we have to like do next year. We gotta have to plan this because I don't know. You said last year was a disaster. I don't know if this, this is much start. better than last year. Trust yeah, me. so maybe next year we're even better. <laughs> Thank you, Peter Nielsen. Uh, he did ask a question if I was getting up to the Pacific Northwest. I hope. I really want to get up there and race with the, the people up there. I have been up there to a race. Great atmosphere. I love the Pacific Northwest for racing. Thank you, Tony Newland, man. Thank you for your stuff, for your air filters. Uh, Tony will be joining the team next year as well. Uh, the NNRC team, <clears throat> he'll be doing a lot of the 10 scale recaps with me also as well and eight scale we're doing a lot of things next year and we're really excited and we want to be your number one number one spot for everything rc racing related news wise and drama wise you know we just want to keep it real and we want to make rc awesome and cool and we can't do that without you guys doing it and um hold on he says i did Sorry, did I bring something when I answered the question about a two-time champ, or was that just an entry wheel? I believe it was just an entry uh, wheel. We have all the winners here. Yeah, that was. Oh no, you did. You did. You won some tires. You won some tires. Oh yeah, you yeah, did. You won some tires. Yeah. yeah sorry, right. I have have you right here. Congratulations, James. Uh so, okay, so the filters are for sale at clinicrc.com. Uh, maybe we can get Will to bring up the the web address on her, and you can check them out. Clinic it's cl i'm oh, sorry it's www.klinikrc.com clinic with a k on both ends that's the <laughs> best way you know what we're going on break for a little while thank you thank you tony there we go clinic rc yeah. this is our last well, show for the year unless mayfield or somebody like leaves mugen we're not having another show we're going on break for about three weeks four weeks joseph is coming yeah, here we'll he says be, he's booked tickets yeah so right now the schedule looks like the first so show of 2022 is is going to be on 10th of january on monday and uh yeah gonna be season one of 2022 get excited and uh it, it's looking like we're gonna have some good uh, guests uh straight out the gate yeah. uh, going into the year so stay excited for that for sure yeah we're gonna it looks like we're gonna be doing race reports and news on mondays and then it will be interview questions and whatnot on fridays we're trying to break up the podcast and we also have the the we have the reaction podcast and race car we, we've got a bunch of races we're gonna cover next year oh man we're gonna be super super yeah. busy and nrc cup will be much more organized and better this year than what it was oh. in 20, 2021 yeah he's all into that right now so um Thank you guys. We can't do it. You all have a very merry Christmas, a safe Christmas. Drink and be merry. Uh, eat lots of food, and then worry about working it all off in January. That's my plan. Uh, and thank you to all of our sponsors for their support. Thank you to the NNRC squad. Mike, you want to say anything before we we sign out of her? Uh, we'd just like to thank everybody for your support over the years, and uh, we look forward to greater things coming in the future. Keep your eyes peeled. Yeah, watch this space. Watch this space. Max, anything to say before we leave? Uh, keep it peaceful. Love your love your friends and have fun. Yeah, and you know what? Nitro is the glory. E-Buggy pays the bills. If you ain't grinding and sliding, happy, merry Christmas, and happy New Year from the NNRC squad. We love you guys. We can't do it without you. Thank you for everything. Um, let me bring out my intro. You guys have made everything possible and we greatly appreciate it. Lefty, Max, and Mikey, we guys are out. See you later. Merry Christmas. Thank you for listening to the No Name RC Podcast. We greatly appreciate all the support and love from you, the listeners. Without all of you, none of this is possible. Special thanks to our patrons on Patreon. If you wish to support the podcast further, you can at patreon.com forward slash NNRC Podcast. As a patron, you will receive early releases, special content, and patron only giveaways also please follow us on facebook instagram and our website www.nnrcpodcast.com remember nitro is the glory 
but e-buggy pays the bills if you aren't having fun it doesn't make sense and if you ain't grinding you're sliding lefty out nitro is the glory nitro is the glory nitro is the glory so bad. <laughs> <laughs> 